hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i going to show you how to set up https with the virtual host in the last tutorial we learn how to set up virtual host and i created this virtual host in last tutorial generally we run all the project in the local machine with the http but sometime we need https with the local machine so in this tutorial i show you with the open ssl i written one article here and you can see here link given in the video description if you want to read this article first of all you need to install the web server i hope you have already installed but if not you can download from the official web server site and both the version available for the 64 bit and 32 bit so you can download it i already set up in my pc so i skip this step second step is you need to install the open ssl and you can download from the official website of the open ssl and you have question what is open ssl open ssl is an open source command line tool that is used to generate the ssl certificate and private key open ssl is also available into the both version 62 and 32 you can download it based on your operating system let me download it the 64 bit open ssl because i have 64 bit os let me download it and i going to close it because i have already downloaded it let me install this open ssl accept the agreement next next and install it the process is complete let me finish it let me show you where the open ssl is installed you can open the c drive and go to the program files and you can see here open ssl dash win 64 so let me minimize it and close this tab and go to the next step now we need to create the private key using the open ssl so you can use the command prompt and any of the terminal for the generate the private key but you need to run the command prompt and your terminal in administrator mode because otherwise when you generate the private key and got the access denied permission let me open my terminal and go to the bin directory of the open ssl and show you you can see here two commands given here for the generate the private key let me fire this command and show you you can see here i got the permission denied error so you can resolve it with two way first one you need to run this terminal in administrator mode and second one is you need to specify the permission of this open ssl directory into the c drive so let me open the property go to the security and select my user and let me specify here the permission specify okay okay and let me close this terminal and open it again now again i need to go into the directory so let me open and specify here and you can see here now the directory open of the bin of open ssl window 64 now i need to fire this command again into the terminal and let me specify files let me specify again and you can see here 
the private key is uh, generated uh, let me show you where the private key is generated you need to go into the C drive open program files go to the open SSL and go to the bin directory and you can see here private key generated here now we need to fire second command for generate the RSA of the private key let me specify phrase again and writing of the RSA key is done so let me clear the console and go to the article and take next step now private key is successfully generated with this path we already confirm and step 4 is need to create SSL certificate using this command you can see here into the my screen open SSL let me fire this command into the terminal and now I need to give some information for example the country name state name need to specify city name and you can see here now certificate is generated let me open and show you you can see here certificate generated here into the bin directory of open SSL now we need to move this both file into the config directory of the Apache so uh, let me move this both file I need to create one directory it's called key into the this path so let me open this path you need to open your WAMP server path I install WAMP in my D directory let me open bean apache apache config and now you need to create one directory it's called key and let me copy private key and certificate from the open SSL so let me open bean and let me cut here and go to the config of the Apache again and let me open config open key and need to put here both the certificate and private key so this certificate and private key generation is done now we need to configure http dot config file you need to open from the configuration of the apache let me open using the windows r and config directory open now now I need to open http comp file which is given here let me open now we need to find this and need to enable one by one so let me find it and you can see here it's given here in your PC maybe in comment in my PC it's uncomment because HTTP is already unable in my PC so I remove it previously but you need to remove this hash from this module now find next module and enable it you can see here and third one is in up and you can see here so
so you need to enable and remove this hash maybe in your PC this hash is there just remove it and save it and close this file now we need to configure HTTP SSL dot config file so let me open the SSL com file again I need to go compile and you can see open SSL into the extra so let me go and open it HTTP SSL let me find this and you can see here server admin server name and document root given here I already replace it with document root server name localhost 443 in your WAMP maybe this one is different but you need to replace with admin at the right example dot com you can specify any email here you need to specify localhost colon 443 and specify the install dir and slash www so you need to change this three line also you need to find this file and configure it if not configured and you can see here you need to specify certificate sv root conf key key directory we created recently and private key dot key same for the certificate and you need to enable the certificate let me find using the certificate file and you can see here certificate file is enabled if it's commented you need to remove the hash and you need to specify the certificate path SRV root conf key and certificate dot CRT now one more thing is you need to make sure this two line into the new WAMP server this two line already set up in the WAMP and next step is need to configure a virtual host with the httpd vhost com file and update the virtual host and need to add this three line into the virtual host also we need to change the port of the virtual host right now this virtual host run on the port of 80 but we need to change with 443 so let me open this file first of all and the file is here and let me show you the virtualhost.com which is I created into the last tutorial and you can see here we need to change this with the let me copy and paste here let me change the port 443 now I need to specify this three line in the virtual host specify here now restart the WAMP close this file first both file save it and now restart the WAMP let me restart my WAMP wait until the WAMP server icon is green 
my web restart successfully let me go here and let me specify https and now we need to specify proceed to virtual host with the unsafe proceed to unsafe click here and you can see here it's working now copy and go here and you can see here the virtual host running with the https so you can easily set up https in your local machine i hope this tutorial is help you thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel Thank you.